Hello and welcome back. Brian here with Embrilliance. In this video, we're going to take a little bit closer look at some of the new path operations in Stitch Artist Level 3. The first path tool that we should take a look at is break lines. A break line allows you to cut a path into two or more sections. So we're going to click the button for break line, and I'm just going to make a very simple shape and right click to end. And you'll see this object now has a line that starts with a little X on it and ends with another X on it. And we can edit the nodes and make a shape if we want to cut this object in half. When we actually want to do the cut, we come over to the button below it, cut the object at the break line. If you take a look at the object tree, you'll see we now have two halves. I'm going to go ahead and select them and separate them out so you can see what we've done. The next button that we're going to look at is called a logical AND. This will give you the overlap of two or more selected shapes. So if I take this shape and put it on top of the one on the left and select them both, then come over and push the AND button, I get a new object in my tree. This is the object that was an overlapped piece and we can take that out and make stitches on it if we want. The next button that we're going to use is called a union. And in order to show it to you, the first thing I want to do is bring in a couple of shapes and merge them together. And let me do a little bit of adjustment here so we have something that makes more sense. Now, a union will give us the outline of these two shapes combined. So I can select the whole design and click the union button. And now I have a new object that says union. Let's go ahead and put some stitches on it so you can see what we've done. The next button we're going to look at is a logical subtract. This is like a cookie cutter and it'll take one outline and remove something from another. I have the perfect thing in mind. I know we have a gingerbread man in here, and the holidays are coming up, and I have a feeling I'm going to be taking a bite out of more than one of these. Let's make a design that'll do that too. Here's our gingerbread man. Now let's go and find something that looks like teeth. And I have a feeling in my floral I have something that ought to do the trick. Now this floral shape obviously isn't positioned right, so we'll move it off. And you can resize it or do anything you need, but let's say we're going to take a bite out of his little head right there. So the first object is going to be your base object. That's the one that's going to have the section removed. And what you have selected on top of it is what's going to do the cookie cutting. So let's come back over to our subtract and chomp we now have taken a bite out of our gingerbread man. The next button we're going to look at is flattening. And flattening is especially useful with vector graphics, like we talked about in the last episode. Here we have three circles that have been superimposed. And in graphic arts, it doesn't matter how many layers of objects you have. It only matters what's visible at the top. In this case, this bottom circle right here is going to be superimposed or sat on top of by this one, and this circle is going to sit on top of both of them. If we want to flatten all of those, we can use the button, and now we have three objects that have individual shapes where no shape is sitting on top of it. Now we're going to come to a couple of things that are a little bit different. This button right here will create an outline from stitches on the page. The stitches could be an existing design or lettering, just about anything that you merge in or if you digitize it yourself. It's going to follow the path of the stitches and create an outline from them. So in this case, I've already brought in some lettering and we're just going to push the button to create an object with outlines. And here you can see what it's created for us. 
it's outlined the stitches automatically and if we want to we could go right away and put a running stitch on that so that's a very handy tool if you want to add outlines to your lettering um, it's built right in and we can have a lot of fun with it uh, some of the things that you might want to do with it though involve scaling growing it making it bigger we call that inflation so here we're going to use the inflation tool and we're going to actually make those outlines bigger by about a quarter of an inch and we do have options to remove the holes and to soften the corners and here you can see these inflated outlines that have been created and we're going to click OK and now I'm going to take those and if you remember from earlier our union tool let's make a union now I'm going to delete those outlines because I don't need those anymore and I'll take my union tool and set a stitch on that okay I know what you're thinking he did that quick I gotta see something else done and do it a little bit more slowly okay well this is a PES file that came from one of my interactive programs from many years ago and I'm using it really just because I own the copyright and it was convenient to use but this will work on any stitch file or lettering so we're going to go up and create an outline from stitches and this one will take a minute because you see how complex this shape is if we zoom in closer here let's go and select and hit the 2 key you can see this outline has wrapped those stitches very tightly and created nice little holes in all those sections well we're not going to use all those holes but we could if we wanted to but I think what I'd rather do now is go up to the create menu use the outline tool and delete those holes it's another way to do it and now you see we're left with the single outline now that we have that outline we can put stitching on it that's not a problem I could set a run stitch and change that stitch type and change its color to something that we could see easier so we've outlined that design pretty handily but we can also go and inflate it and so let's make that a little bit bigger maybe a little bigger still say OK and now we've got a nice outline border on that design there's a lot more to talk about with Stitch Artist Level 3, and we'll pick some of those up in the next installment, Part 3 of the Controls. Hope to see you there.